Section 104A uh, of the foreign aid uh, provisions, assistance to combat HIV and AIDS. It is a major objective of Congress, who passed the law and sets the policy, to provide assistance for the prevention, treatment, and control of HIV AIDS, particularly activities focused on women and youth and to prevent mother-to-child transmission. Prevention, that's what we're supposed to be doing with this money. Funding of programs and efforts that are designed to impart knowledge with the exclusive purpose of, quote, helping individuals avoid behaviors that place them at risk of HIV infection, including reduction of casual sexual partnering. What is the Obama USAID administration doing? Exactly the opposite. Look at why this is so significant. This is a map uh, relatively recently of uh, a global view of HIV infection. Notice uh, how the large percentages of sub-Saharan Africa uh, that are dealing with this epidemic. And yet we're now forcing them to repeal laws that might well help stop uh, this pandemic uh, there. It's unbelievable. It's, it's unconscionable. Um, uh, now, they'll say, well, we have a ban on providing aid to countries that engage in human rights abuse, and therefore a country that has prohibitions on sodomy or same-sex marriage are abusing human rights, and therefore we can't give them our aid unless they come in line. This has been the argument. But look at the actual language of the statute. The kind of human rights abuses that are being talked about is not signing on to the homosexual rights agenda. It's pattern of gross violations of internationally recognized human rights, of which that is not one, including torture or cruel, inhumane, and de degrading treatment, prolonged detention, disappearance, abduction, those kind of things. It's got nothing to do with the homosexual rights fight that is the hook that the Obama administration is using this. No assistance may be provided to any government failing to take appropriate and adequate measures within their means to protect children from exploitation. Remember President Museveni's statement, this very debate was provoked by Western groups who come to our schools and try to recruit children into homosexuality? Are they being exploited to further this agenda and doing it with U.S. aid dollars that are running directly contrary to the purposes set out in the statute by Congress? I believe they are.